Hey everyone, back again. Didn't think I'd be back this soon. The essay review video was kind of like a one-off thing, um, which is now not a one-off thing because I'm doing this video. Um, I just have an idea, because I'm into tech, um, previously said I'm not a massive tech reviewer at all, but I do own a few bits of tech, um, and there's a couple of bits of tech that I wanted to kind of compete against each other, as the, uh, as the title says. So, the first bit is this beauty. So I was brought an Amazon Echo for Christmas, Christmas 2016, um, which is good. I was really psyched about it. You know, I'm an early adopter of tech and I thought, yeah, can't wait to get hold of one of these kind of voice activated smart speakers as per se. Um, I haven't used it probably as much as I should have. I haven't got the maximum potential out of it, but I certainly use it on a daily basis for kind of a lot of the basic tasks. Um, the other one I wanted to compete against was this beauty, which is the Google Home. So, this was given to me via work, so if I ever leave work I have to give this back. Um, I thought it would be quite interesting just to fire a few random questions at both and just see which of these two really is the smartest. Let's do it. So as I mentioned, the idea behind this is just to find out which one of these two is actually the smartest. So I'm just going to fire a few questions at each of these and just see which gives me the most, I suppose, accurate and cohesive response. So let's start. Okay, Google. How many moons does Mars have? Two. Mars has moons Phobos and Deimos. Alexa. How many moons does Mars have? Mars has two moons. Okay, Google. What does nincompoop mean? Nincompoop, a foolish, or stupid person. Alexa, what does nincompoop mean? The word nincompoop means a stupid, foolish person. Okay, Google. Bob's your uncle. And Fanny's your aunt. Alexa, Bob's your uncle. Hmm, I don't know that one. Okay, Google. What time is my first meeting? The next matching thing on your calendar isn't until 9.40 p.m. on the 30th of May 2017, when there's an event called Flight to Palma, Mallorca. Alexa, what time is my next meeting? Next on the calendar for Monday, the 29th of May, there are two all-day events, Laurie and Gloucester birthday and spring bank holiday. Okay, Google. Can you beatbox? Okay, put your hands together for MC sound file. Alexa, can you beatbox? Boots and cats, boots and cats. You know what? I don't think I'm cut out for beatboxing. Okay, Google. How many dog years in a human year? On the website pets.webmd.com, they say, if you own a dog, you've heard this rule, one year for Fido equals seven years for you. Turns out, the math isn't that simple. Dogs mature more quickly than we do early on. So the first year of your fuzzy friend's life is equal to about 15 human years. To read more, look for the link in your Google Home app. Alexa, how many dog years are in a human year? Dogs age at different rates depending on their size. The American Veterinary Medical Association gives some general guidelines. A medium-sized dog age is the equivalent of 15 human years by the time it's one. Its second year equals 9 human years, and every year after that equals 5 human years. OK, Google, how many calories are there in a biscuit? There are 353 calories in 100 grams of biscuit. Alexa, 
How many calories are there in a biscuit? There are 49 calories in a biscuit. Okay, Google. What's the latest news? Here's the latest news. From headlines from BBC News at 8.07 a.m. today. A big scientific study suggests it isn't possible to be obese and healthy. Researchers at the University of Birmingham looked at the health records of three and a half million people over a 20 year period. They concluded that obese people okay, are outwardly fit. Stop. Alexa, what's the latest news? Here's your flash briefing. In Sky News. From the Sky News Centre at 8. Claims that Donald Trump asked his former FBI director to drop an investigation into an ex-national security advisor have been denied by the White House. It's Alexa, the US stop. Okay, Google, tell us a joke. Okay, here you go. Why can't you trust an atom? Because they make up literally everything. Alexa, tell us a joke. What do lemons drink when they get sick? A lemon aid. Okay, Google. What's 100 pounds in euros? 100 British pounds is approximately 116 euros and 60 cents. Alexa, what's 100 pounds in euros? Sorry, I don't know that one. Okay, Google, what's the difference between a biscuit and a cake? On the website Quora.com, they say, according to UK case law, the main difference is cake gets harder as it goes stale. Biscuits get softer, fat content, the presence of leaveners, and the type of flour being used. Apple bread flour is more commonly used for biscuits, while cake or pastry flour is used for cakes. Alexa? What's the difference between a biscuit and a cake? Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay, Google. What sound does a hippo make? A hippopotamus sounds like this. <coughs> Alexa, what sound does a hippo make? I'm still learning certain sounds. I'll share them with you as soon as I can. OK, Google, play some workout music. OK, check out this workout radio mix on Spotify. OK, Google, stop. Alexa, play some workout music. Here's a playlist for workout music, home gym workout. Alexa, stop. Okay, Google, tell me sports news. Here's the latest sports news. From Sky Sports News HQ report at 8.47 a.m. today. Arsene Wenger has described finishing in the top four of the Premier League as nothing special after Arsenal beat Sunderland 2 0 last night. Two goals from Alexis okay, Sanchez Google. took him to. Stop. Alexa, tell me sports news. Here is your sports update. In football, on Sunday, Manchester United lost to Tottenham Hotspur 2 1 in a Premier League match. Alexa, stop. OK, Google, what time is the sun set today? The sun will set at 8.55pm. Alexa, what time is the sun set today? Sunset is at 8.53pm. OK, Google, how do you say nice to meet you in Spanish? Encantada de conocerte. Alexa? How do you say, nice to meet you, in Spanish? I can't pronounce it, so I've sent the answer to your Alexa app. You can also enable a translation skill from the skills store. Okay, Google. 
How many feet is 86 centimetres? 86 centimetres equals 2 feet 9.858 inches. Alexa, how many feet is 86 centimetres? 86 centimetres is 2.82 feet. OK, Google. Set a timer for 25 minutes for cake. All right, a 25 minute timer called cake. Starting now. Alexa, set a timer for 25 minutes for cake. 25 minutes, starting now. OK, Google, how much time is left for my cake? T minus 24 minutes and 48 seconds. OK, Google, how much time is left for my cake? You've got 24 minutes and 32 seconds left. Alexa, how much time is left for my cake? You have one timer with about 24 minutes left. OK, Google, what's the world record for the 100 metres? Here's a summary from the website n.wikipedia.org. The current men's world record is 9.58 seconds, set by Jamaica's Usain Bolt in 2009. Alexa, what's the world record for the 100 metres? Hmm, I don't know that one. OK, Google. Sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to okay, you. Okay, Google. Ha Stop. Alexa, sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Alexa. Ha Stop. Okay, Google. Flip a coin. It's tails. Alexa, flip a coin. Heads. OK, Google. What time does the zoo open today? Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with it yet. Alexa, what time does the zoo open today? Based on your postcode settings, a top rated one is Sacrowell Farm and Country Centre on Sacrowell Farm and Country Centre. It's currently closed but will be open later today from 9.30am until 5pm. OK, Google. How far is Canada from here? Canada is 3,829 miles away as the crow flies. Alexa, how far is Canada from here? Your current location is 3,290 miles, 5,300 kilometers from Canada as the crow flies. OK, Google, what are clouds made from? On the website metoffice.gov.uk, they say clouds are made of tiny drops of water or ice crystals that settle on dust particles in the atmosphere. The droplets are so small, a diameter of about a hundredth of a millimeter, that each cubic meter of air will contain 100 million droplets. Alexa, what are clouds made from? Clouds material is water. OK, Google. Remember that I left my keys by the door. OK, I'll remember that you said I left my keys by the door. Alexa, remember that I left my keys by the door. OK, Google, where are my keys? OK, Google, where are my keys? I'm sorry, but I don't understand. OK, Google. Where are my keys? Here's what you've told me. The 17th of May 2017, remember that I left my keys by the door. The 6th of May 2017, remember the keys by the back door. Alexa, where are my keys? 
I recommend retracing your steps. So there you have it. Just some questions that I put together to ask both devices to see which would give me the most, I suppose, um, intuitive response, which would also give me um, the most accurate response as well. I'll let you guys be the judge of what you've seen. For me, the clear winner is the Google Home, my personal preference. It gave uh, clearer responses, more accurate responses, it was more contextually aware as well. So, Google Home for me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you want me to ask it any other questions to compare to see how the two respond. They were just, like I said, they were just some questions I threw together. Thanks for watching and take care.